I spent hours trying out various artificial intelligence apps and found that most of them were for writers, coders, or designers. But in this video, I'm going to tell you five amazing AI hacks that you can use in your studies. These hacks will increase your productivity, knowledge, and most importantly, your scores, all with minimum time investment. You won't believe how good the second and the fifth hacks are going to be. So you should watch the video till the end. So the first and the simplest hack is making a timetable for the whole week using Microsoft Copilot. Give it as much information as you can. For example, I'll use this prompt in Copilot. Make a timetable for me in a table format. I get up at 8 a.m., have college from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Lunch is between 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I also exercise from 7 to 8 p.m. I have a doctor's appointment on Friday at 7 p.m. and I also have to watch a movie with my friends on Sunday at 6 p.m. So make necessary changes accordingly. And it will give me the rough timetable that I can make changes to according to my needs. You can also make a daily timetable if you want more control. It's up to you. Coming to the second tip, which is my favorite. Have you ever had difficulty in learning the clinical features of some disease and had to make all these weird mnemonics for the same? Well, say no more. You can tell AI to do the same for you. For this, I will be using perplexity because it is better than ChatGPT and Copilot in making mnemonics. So, I'll prompt perplexity to make an easy to remember mnemonic for the key features of Turner syndrome using the same or related letters and it will give me the result. Likewise, if you want mnemonic for Edward syndrome, you can do the same. Here, it gave the mnemonic Edward for the Edward syndrome, which is very useful. Before we move on, I just want to tell you that you should use the prompts correctly. Better the input is, more better is the output from the AI. Also, if you think you are gaining value from this video, consider subscribing because the fifth hack is going to be super useful for practicals and active recall. Moving on to the third hack that you can use using AI is to create summaries of topics that you have read and make flashcards from that topic. Suppose you read about Wilson's disease in the morning and by the evening you forgot what it was. You can use AI to remind what it was and also make its flashcards. For example, I'll prompt the AI, give me a specific concise high end summary of Wilson's disease for my medical studies and create five flashcards from this topic that are frequently tested in exams. It gave me all the information that I need, including the flashcards. It also cited some of the references from which it got the information from. So it is more reliable than ChatGPT, which sometimes makes up information on its own. The fourth hack is on a similar background, which is creating MCQs for practice. For this too, we will use Microsoft Copilot because we need accuracy. This is one of the easiest ways that you can do your activity call. Let me tell you how exactly you should do it. Suppose I want to test my ophthalmology knowledge. I'll tell the AI, ask me 20 US MIT lab and needs primary questions on the subject of ophthalmology. Ask me difficult, highly questions regarding accurate knowledge of the subject. Your options should be similar and tricky. They should be only one best or correct answer and three incorrect answers. Start by asking the first question, then I'll answer the second question. You will tell me if I was correct. Give a short question for the same and ask the next question in the same response until you finish. So it will start putting out questions and we just have to answer them. And it will tell us if we were correct, give an explanation for the same and move on to asking the next question. You can do it until you complete all the questions. Just keep in mind that these questions will test only the basic knowledge that you need to know, not the ultra specific details. And no, this does not replace the question banks that you saw. Let's just clear that. The fifth and the best hack that you can do using AI is give practical exam viva at your home. It's like your professor is in your room. Don't believe me? Let me tell you how. For this, we will be using ChatGPT and specifically its voice chat feature. Just tap on it and tell it. Act as my professor and my Viva examiner. You will ask me Viva questions on the subject of obstetrics for my final year of MBBS exams. Start with easy questions and if I'm able to answer them, move on to more difficult questions. Don't give explanations for the answers. Start. Of course, let's begin with the stages of labor. Can you please describe the three stages of labor? Stage one of labor. It is from the onset of the of service. Stage two is from Excellent. You've covered the stages of labor well. Now, let's delve a bit deeper. You can continue your viper as long as you want and even tell it to ask more challenging questions. Everything is up to you. This will help you prepare for your viva where you need to give answers quickly and build your confidence when giving viva in front of your actual professor. 
Those were the five AI hacks. And if you found any of them useful, tell me in the comment section and subscribe if you want to see more such content.